What's up everyone, welcome to an episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and I'm sorry, uh, you know, I've been behind on videos, been having some phone problems, uh, hopefully it's working now, I will be getting a new phone soon, that's really what I've been recording all my episodes on, and I tried little DV cams and other things before, and just never liked some of the quality on them, uh, but I, you know, still keep them around in case I ever need it as like an emergency backup, but so far it seems like my phone might be working, so I'm going to try to make this really quick, uh, this is our 150th episode, our season 1 finale of the show, and I thank you guys so much. A lot has happened over the past six months doing this show. We are nearing our six month anniversary and as of right now today, May 1st, it's also Venom's 30th anniversary. This whole month of May is going to be a celebration of Venom and so what we're going to do kicking off season two, we're going to talk a little bit more about the trailer, some other things that I saw in it that would I think would make pretty interesting videos, some questions you guys had about the trailer that we'll make videos on, but then we'll also be diving into the comic books and what I consider chapter two or phase two of the symbiote and Eddie Brock's life. So now that we've talked about the death of Anne Wang and everything that happened with that, uh, now we're going to get into the ultimate universe, we're going to get into the Daniel Way Marvel tsunami wave where it was like there was a symbiote clone that was running around out there and it was pretty neat i thought it was a good story a lot of people have different opinions but we'll talk about that i think that'll be a lot of fun and then we're going to get into when the symbiote goes to other hosts like mac gargan and uh flash thompson so we're going to talk about you know agent venom we're going to talk about the thunderbolts uh, which is going to be really fun and we're also going to talk about anti-venom which i'm really excited for and that's all kind of what i consider to be phase two of eddie brock and the symbiotes you know journey in this 30 years so we're going to dive into those leading up to the movie coming out uh every episode between now and then will be called uh, season two and then everything after the movie will move into season three leading up to the blu-ray release uh, and hopefully announcements of a sequel if this movie does well so all of you guys who have been supporting me from the beginning or if you're new here thank you we we are now monetized again we hit over 4,000 hours watched we're over a thousand subscribers and so now my channel is under review and probably within a week or so we'll find out if i'm monetized uh, and that means a lot to me because the way this channel is growing it might mean i could actually make a few bucks at doing this uh, even though i love doing it for free and i don't mind doing it for free but uh, getting a few dollars definitely helps with like medical bills and all the other stuff that I have going on in my life, just bills in general, paying rent and all that. So thank you guys for getting us this point and, uh, and bringing us to this level. As an added thank you, I want to give all you guys a chance to win as many codes as I could. So I had 22 comics that I was going to give you codes for. Um, I ordered some stuff a few months ago, Venom stuff from Unknown Comic Books in Texas, but they haven't come in yet, and I was hoping they would before this episode. But since we got here so fast because of the trailer and all the news that came out, um, you know, we got to episode 150 a lot faster than I thought we would. So I will give those codes out when we have them. But for this, it's 30 years of Venom, so I couldn't do a giveaway with 22 codes. So the other day I took a little bit of extra money I had went to Legacy Comics and I picked up eight more comic books just to give you guys uh, 30 codes so there are 20 codes down in the description box and there will be 10 more codes popping up on screen throughout me recording this video um, as I thank you guys and we go over a couple things um, that you know we that I missed there was a couple venom uh, piece of information that I missed so we'll talk about that real quick and then we'll talk about a little bit more of what's coming up on this channel uh, but yeah go down there pick a code or two at the most try to save them for other people and let me know in the comments which code you got which comic you read and what you thought of it uh, and so uh, thank you guys that's just the least I could do for you um, and to show my appreciation and obviously every week every time new Venom comics come out I will keep giving away codes it's one of my favorite things to do on this channel uh, is to do giveaways weekly and uh, or every two weeks or so but anytime I pick up comics I will try to give away those codes for you guys uh, but uh, so let's get into a couple things I missed uh, there was a magazine that came out you can pick it up for free at your local comic shop it's called Marvel Universe uh, and it has some extra artwork from Venom number one by Ryan Stegman and Donnie Cates. It has some artwork in there. It, th that artwork was also featured in an article that we did a review of recently, or we talked about recently, in one of my response videos. Um, but if you want like cool high-res images of them, uh, you know, in print, you can pick them up in this magazine. And I think they're like halfway through. Yeah, so you'll get to see like uh, you know some stuff here. And I was gonna make a video talking about these pages, but the comic comes out like in two weeks, and we have so much other stuff to cover. So we probably won't get into it. We'll just save it for the review of this comic book. But you'll talk. They talk about Beowulf and like the you know it's like in the past and it's like vikings and a symbiote shows up or some kind of monster does and it's a nightmare that the current symbiote that's attached to eddie brock is having which is interesting because that symbiote has actually never as far as we know 
wasn't uh, on Earth before now, and it looks like maybe it might have a history that it was on Earth before it ended up on Battleworld. So that could be an interesting thing that they could reveal about the character that's a little bit new and different than stuff we've seen before. Um, then also, uh, you know, there's a video game, uh, Marvel or Spider-Man Unlimited. So I'll put a link down, I guess about a month ago on uh, March 29th, they did an update uh, and they added Venom Inc. characters. So like Hammerhead, Black Hat, um, and they also added Scorpion with symbiotes and then they added Maniac, who's the Lee Price villain from the comics, and Agent Anti-Venom, Flash Thompson's newest form of Venom, uh, which is pretty cool. So I'll put a link to that uh, down below so you can check it out. If you play that mobile game, it'll have all the updates to let you know what they added. Uh, and if you haven't played it, definitely a good time to jump in because there's a lot more Venom action going on. And the last thing I want to talk about is just what's coming up on Season 2. Obviously, I mentioned it briefly in the intro. We have, you know, Ultimate uh, Week. We're going to do a whole week of the Ultimate Comics. We're going to do the Daniel Way run, uh, also get into Venom the Hunger, and introduce the storylines that Paul Jenkins did and other writers did where Eddie Brock had cancer, uh, and he was, you know, got rid of the suit. And we're going to talk about the other hosts that that suit went to, uh, from Matt Gargan to Flash Thompson and Angelo. I know I, I skip over Angelo a lot. We'll get to why I skip over that character and why I don't really care to mention that that character was Venom for like a couple hours, but we'll get into that when we talk about the Venomous storyline uh, that came out that Mark Millar wrote. Um, and uh, yeah, and we're going to get into a lot of stuff. Obviously, more movie news will be coming out. We're probably going to be in a two-month like lull right now because um, I think the next time, I don't know for sure, but I think the next time there will be movie stuff, uh, it'll probably be around Comic-Con and San Diego Comic-Con, and that's like mid to late July. So just like the first trailer till now, uh, from the second trailer, we have about a two-month gap to fill. Uh, and I don't know how much movie news we're going to get in that time. I think after Comic-Con, they'll start rolling with the marketing big time. Uh, but so from now until then, I think it's our last stretch we got to fill time on. So I will be covering a lot of the comic books. We will be doing a lot of episodes about the second phase of what I call the second phase of Eddie Brock and the symbiote's life. And uh, and we'll, any new, you know, new movie news that pops up, we'll grab it. Like any casting announcements, anything they reveal, uh, any new posters, any like new still images, if, if they do an interview with Tom Hardy for a magazine, whatever it is that they do I will definitely cover it for you guys and uh, I, I don't pay for the you know Google ad stuff anymore because just money and stuff uh, so if you guys see any articles out there that you think are interesting definitely send me uh, a link and I will I will try to cover it uh, there is an article I saw you know recently that I thought would be pretty interesting to talk about uh, but we'll get into it with season two and for season two because my phone's giving me problems and because of a few other reasons I'm gonna take a couple days off so today is Tuesday May 1st where you know we're giving out these digital codes we gave all the ones down the bottom and this is me wrapping up season one just looking back you know everything we did from November 5th of 2017 where I the first piece of marketing this movie released was Tom Hardy training and I I did a reaction video to that and then you know started getting on a health kick trying to lose a few pounds I'm still struggling with that uh, lately I've been eating a lot of Burger King on my way to work I gotta cut that out uh, and I gotta cook more at home so I'm gonna go get some groceries hopefully with my next paycheck but money's pretty tight right now because I bought the computer and now my phone's giving me issues so it's like th there's a lot of things going on uh, a couple medical things so it's 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 a tough month right now but uh, but we will get there uh, but I need a few days off just to kind of create this new intro that I want to do it's not gonna be anything spectacular or amazing uh, I'll still keep the original theme song that people like, and I will put a link to where you can buy that song in the description box, starting with season two. Uh, I'm going to do a new version of our thumbnails for the, uh, you know, for the uh, images that you see. So, like, you know, now I have that black banner at the bottom with the first Venom logo we got. Now I'm going to do something a little different, and uh, I'm going to put our uh, Seek and Destroy logo or our Venom Vlog logo with my face that PJ Katakutin drew. Uh, and if you want to see more of his art, I put a link down in uh, the description box uh, every episode. Definitely go support that guy. He draws some awesome stuff. He takes commissions, whatever you want. He's an amazing artist. Uh, worked on some comic books that I worked on and wrote and edited, and he's just a, an amazing dude. So definitely check out his stuff. And everyone who's been here, the community we've built, like, just thank you. Like, thank you very much for helping me in ways that you'll never know. Like, this show, last year, I, you know, the year before that, too, I, I took a hit creatively. I've been working on this book for two years, and it's draining me, and it's it's it's, it's not frustrating, but it's, I'm frustrated that it's not out, but I also want it to be the best it can be and the best of my ability 
um, you know, because it's important to me. I'm writing a sequel to Peter Pan. I don't want to screw it up. A lot of people have high hopes for Peter Pan, and I'm just trying to get the story right, and there's movie interest possibly in it. So the, the, the pressure was on, and I let it get to me. And so the reason I started this show up, too, was also to do something weekly creative that kind of get my confidence back up and because of your guys response because of you guys liking this it's definitely got me writing again it's i'm rewriting the book now uh, trying to have it out by this summer it's it's you know so i'll have some you know things about that coming up too but uh, i owe that to you guys for supporting this show and getting us to this level getting us monetized again getting us this many subscribers and sharing the you know the, the episodes with your friends it's it means a lot to me so if you know any venom fans out there bring them into the fold you know uh, the more the merrier uh, but again you know even if we stop growing tomorrow I would keep making videos for those of you who are here and I would keep working hard at it uh, but tomorrow I'm gonna take a day off because uh, because I've been pumping out 150 episodes in the span of six months uh, it's taken a toll on me on top of writing and working a full work week you know as well uh, at my job so um, so I'm gonna take a few days off work on a new intro do some other things I might stream on uh, Wednesday tomorrow Wednesday uh, and so if you guys want to follow me on twitch be sure to do that and we'll talk venom stuff on that stream but I'll probably stream for like two hours split that up over into like four half hour episodes and upload those so you guys have some kind of content this week and as far as Scarlet Spider stuff and uh, damnation stuff those are still on hold I got a lot of stuff to work on right now uh, and including uh, a patreon so let's talk about that real quickly before we go so patreon is something i have been thinking about for a while my roommate had to, does a great podcast called mad scientist party hour please check it out link down below i'm gonna have a lot of links down below uh, uh, on top of all those digital codes as well so do the best you can navigating down there it's going to be a mess um but uh but you know he's got a great show called mad scientist party hour he's had me on a few times and just a really awesome dude and they do a patreon and they have one tier uh, and the reason i was kind of against the patreon is because with my kickstarters like i'm you know late on this current one that i'm doing the book that i'm writing and i was just like hey, i don't want to have something else out there that will distract me but then when i saw his patreon it had one tier for five dollars and he just makes four extra episodes of his podcast exclusively for those people and so it got me thinking like oh you know I, I i could probably make time especially when we cut this show back to just five episodes a week so what i'm going to probably do is just do monday through friday just do five episodes and if any movie news pops up that'll be an extra episode that week uh but otherwise i'll just do like five comic book episodes or five regular episodes uh to you know to do that and if i can stay on that schedule then i can squeeze in something on the weekend to do for patreon backers so what i think i'm going to do is do a new show about um uh, about my create like the creative stuff I do like the writing uh, show, you know, kind of show you guys what it's like to edit a book to get notes from somebody and like what they think you should change you know like I'm thinking about doing stuff like that I, I've been thinking about that for a while to do on Twitch but I think I might do it as a Patreon uh, backing video series so it'll be one episode a month you get for that and it'll be about like a 15-20 minute episode and then I'll do another show like the Venom vlog here but we're going to talk about the X-Men uh, X-Men Age of Apocalypse to be specific uh, that is one of my favorite X-Men X-Men stories. I'm a big X-Men fan and I grew up in the 80s and 90s reading X-Men, but when I talk to a lot of X-Men fans, especially kids who grew up in the 90s in the cartoon era, they really liked the Age of Apocalypse storyline. Uh, it's very memorable to a lot of people, so I thought that would be a cool one to sink our teeth into and then it would also open the gate to talk about other X-Men stories. Uh, to talk about the movies, uh, upcoming movies, you know, stuff like that, uh, like Dark Phoenix and New Mutants um, and Deadpool 2, like it opens a, a big gate. And uh, I thought that would be cool. So if you're an X-Men fan and you, you know, you like this show and you like what I do here, we might do three episodes a month and a creative episode. And those four episodes will be what I have a Patreon for. And those are exclusive to people who donate $5 a month. Um, and so you guys let me think, you know, let me know what you think of that. Uh, maybe if it's too soon, if you don't think I should be doing something like that, you know, I'd love the feedback. And if you think it's too early for me to start a Patreon to do stuff like that, that's fine. I mean, we just got re-monetized on here, but I know that there's a bunch of weird things that happens on YouTube sometimes where they just randomly pick videos that they, you know, don't want monetized or they think you talk too much about something and you know they get demonetized my trailer reactions will probably be demonetized and those get you know that got a lot of hits so there's things like that, that they might you know might not fit their guidelines so I, I kind of need a backup in a way and I work really hard on these videos and someone was like you know you, sh you do work really hard maybe you can offer people who want to you know contribute give them an option to contribute and so uh so this is me attempting to do that so you guys let me know what you think and for those who don't want to back a patreon that's totally cool we still may do the shirt idea so you guys tell me which uh, you know give me your feedback on those shirts patreon both neither 
you let me know down in the comments below. But other than that, I've talked enough. My phone's definitely take a beating this week, so I'm going to give it a rest. Thank you guys so much for you know supporting the show for getting us to this point. And now we're going to try to do another 150 episodes between now and the movie coming out. Because obviously the number 300 is very important to Venom. That was his first appearance in Amazing Spider-Man 300. So we're going to try to you know get past 300 episodes of this show. And we got a lot of work ahead of us, so let's get to it. Thank you guys so much, as always, for the support. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.